Hi everyone, Gemma here. Thank you for watching today. I just want to jump on and do a quick tutorial using these gorgeous stamps from Adventures in Ink. And these are part of the Black Friday deals on Craft Stash. I'll talk a little bit about that shortly. Um, but let me just show you these cards that I've made. So really quickly come together, just some ink smushing and I've stamped and colored and fussy cut those gorgeous bears out. So these are six by six card bases. As I said, a bit of ink smushing in the background, some new wool drops to finish off, and the really punny uh, sentiment there with have a berry Merry Christmas. Before I get into the tutorial, I just wanted to mention that there is up to 60% off Adventures in Ink on Craft Stash, and this is part of the Black Friday deals. So I just wanted to show you some of the lovely stamps that I have in my set. So I've got these summer style stamps. So I've got Life is a Beach, Sunshine and Sandcastles, some lovely images on there, really nice uh, sentiments. For example, Life is Better on the Beach. These Beyond Cute stamps for Christmas. And I'm going to be using one of the sets today as part of the tutorial. So I'll show you that in more detail shortly. We've got the Pigs in Blanket the Christmas Kitty and the Pick Up a Penguin. And as I said, these images are so sweet. I really like this penguin one with the antlers and the love heart. The kitty there with the present and bobble hat. And then I just can't pick one out of the pigs. They're just so cute. And, you know, change up your coloring, for example, on this one. That could be used for an all round celebration. It doesn't have to be christmas so let me just show you the stamp set that i'll be using today which is the day to bear and you've got all these gorgeous uh, images here and some lovely stamps so this one says can't bear that you're so far away let's sell a bit i can't say that sell a bear right <laughs> oh dear have a very merry christmas send in bear hugs friends like you make life bearable so I've already gone ahead, stamped, coloured and fussy cut the images that I'm going to use. So I've got these four here and we're just going to do some ink smushing on some card bases. I'm just going to batch make four Christmas cards um, and it'll take no time at all. So let's get started. So I've just pulled out my stamping platform. This is from Creative Craft Products. I'll link that in the description box below. And I've got um, four panels that are trimmed down to five and a half inch squared. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment in the same place on all four panels. So I'm just going to do that quickly now. So I'm going to have it more to the bottom right hand corner. And just make sure that that's nice and straight. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment with the Versafine Onyx Black ink. This is suitable for watercolouring, so it won't affect our ink smushing on our panel. So we could do this first or last, it's entirely up to you. But the panel may become warped when we do some ink smushing on there. So I find it's better to have a flatter surface and do this beforehand. So I'm just lining that back up into the same position. I use the left hand edge and I line it up to the um, the markings at the top there, the sort of the measurement. Don't know what to call it, the ruler. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to stamp all four panels now in the same way. Next, I'm going to take one of my bears as inspiration, and I think the colours on the, this are very similar to the Distress Oxide um, Seedless Preserves. So I've got, got a piece of acetate here, and I bring in my ink pad, as I said, Seedless Preserves. I'm just going to add some ink onto the piece of acetate. Move these out of the way. Spritz the um, acetate with some water 
and I'm just going to flip this over and start adding it to my panel. I'm not being very precise here, I'm just moving around on the paper. Using the acetate means you can pick some of the ink back up and you can see where you're smushing as well. I'm just going to bring in some paper towel and take some of that excess ink away and I think I'm going to add another colour to this so I think I'll add um, Kitsch Flamingo again give that a little bit of a spritz just randomly place that on the card we've got similar colors there so you won't see sort of too much <clears throat> um of, co of a contrast there just dab away some of that excess again You can also add, <clears throat> excuse me, some water droplets to give more of that um, dimensional textured look and that will take some of the ink away as well. So I'm just going to set this to one side and move on to my next panel. There's a lot more ink than I intended to be on there so I'm going to try and get a little bit less on the next one but we'll ink smush and then we'll build the cards um, together then at the end. I'm just going to wipe off any ink on the acetate piece. So let's bring in the next bay for some inspiration. So use this one and I'm just going to use one colour on this one. I'm going to use Mode Lawn. As I said, try and get a little bit less of the ink on the acetate now. I'm not going to lift off any of the excess on that one, I'm just going to let that dry. Just check that I'm sort of happy with that. Just move it around a little bit more. For this bit, I'm going to use some salvage patina, peacock feathers, and spun sugar. So same way as before, just adding that ink onto the panel, take off some of the excess. I think I'm going to do the last two panels together actually, because I'm use, using very similar colours. So rather than wipe this away, I'm going to use this for my second panel. There's my four panels now complete and ready to attach to my card bases. So I've got some shop bought uh, six by six card blanks. I'm just gonna go ahead now and attach those flat to my card base. There's my four panels now attached. I'm gonna pop my base up onto some foam. And I'm also gonna add some crystal drops. These are the Nouveau Simply White just um, maybe some around the sentiment or around the bay just to add a bit more dimension and texture to the cards and then I'll come back to you once they're finished. So there's my four completed cards. I'll just hold one up a little closer to the camera. It's got that lovely dimension then on the bay and the Nova drops just to finish off. And I really like the ink smushing effect. Um, I think it just adds a little bit of colour in the background. You could also use a stencil and don't sort of do the whole stencil. You could do part of the stencil. But I just wanted the main focus to be these gorgeous bays. And I think just a bit of ink in the background just focuses your eye on that particular stamp. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial from me today. 
as I said don't forget to check out the discounted um, adventures and ink stamps the links are in the description box below with anything else that I've used in today's video if you have enjoyed it please hit that like button it does help to support my channel and it helps me grow and I really appreciate it so once again thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye